Good afternoon. And uh, this video message is for all of our classified PSE employees. And we've got some important information regarding our lost school days and the weather cancellations. I want to start by asking that you please make sure you share this message with people that may not be regular checkers of email. And so they know uh, what's happening uh, across our schools and departments. The first thing I want to say is that I want to thank you for your patience as we've navigated this process. We know that our um, this has been kind of something left hanging out there and that we know many of you have some questions about how it's going to work and as we head towards the final months of the school year. So I appreciate your patience in helping us get there. I also want to let you know that uh, collectively with PSE in the district, uh, we took our coming up with a solution very seriously and with a high level of care. Uh, we know that back in 2017 when we had a similar situation, uh, we created some divide among our staff and, and having some people wonder why some some staff members like teachers and administrators just had time waived and while others of us had to make it up. And uh, there's a lot of reasons behind all of that, but I want to be honest when I tell you um, we've never had the intent to create that divide. And the fact of the matter is, is I know that all of us work uh, a lot of time and hours and put our own care into the success and well-being of our kids and our community. So uh, we, we were committed to finding a solution that's workable and as painless as possible to help us get there. At the same time, we also wanted to have a solution and a plan uh, that kept everybody whole, that there was no negative impact on people's pay or compensation. Um, and so we never considered an option where we just would have deducted employees for lost time. Uh, we value you as part of our team and we want you to know that uh, monetarily as well. So if, one of the things that's happened is we've been approved for a three-day state waiver of instructional days. And the term waiver can be very confusing and misleading because when most of us think of a waiver, we think of it as excusing us or, or allowing us to just um, forget about that time. And, and the state waiver process is misleading because the waiver is actually um, a waiver from the 180 day rule. So in the state of Washington, all public schools have to be in session for 180 days. So this waiver process says we're still going to hit the same number of instructional hours but we're gonna do it in 177 days instead of 180 days. So it isn't really just a time forgotten pass and that we don't have to, to uh, make up that time, if you will. And so we're fortunate to be in a position where we had ways to, to recreate some instructional time and so that we could still meet that threshold and still be done um, in, in a couple of days fewer to not um, extend too far into the summer. So I'm happy to tell you that we've recently reached an agreement with uh, PSE and today is about rolling that out and letting you know uh, what you need to do to report and to um, document that offset time. So attached to the email that you have, uh, you'll find uh, a couple of documents and we're going to show them here to you uh, to walk through and look at what's, uh, what we're asking and, and what information we're asking you to provide. So the first document you have is a copy of the MOU or the Memorandum of Understanding between PSE and the district that just outlines the entire process. It's it's a lot of uh, legal language and calculations and things that are in there. Uh, we wanted you to have that just as a draft of what uh, your local chapter had uh, worked with us as a district uh, to come to, to a resolution. The more important part uh, is the actual verification form itself. And you can find this verification form by clicking on the email or the, the URL, sorry, not the email, but clicking on the URL inside the email uh, to this verification form. And I want to walk you through a little bit today just on what we're asking you to do in order to complete uh, this form and process. So first of all, it's important to know that uh, we need all employees, all PSC classified employees to complete one of these verification forms. So even if you had no time lost and you worked all of those days, we still need you to complete this as a form of documentation in relationship with the memo of understanding. So the first thing I'd ask you to do is to uh, find your name on this very long list of classified employees. They are sorted alphabetically by last name. So you can just scroll through and, and find your name and it identifies your position and building your department. The next question is it asks you to identify your daily contracted hours. That's an important part of the, the puzzle because we want to make sure that you are um, documenting and calculating a uh, time that is actually built in as part of your daily contracted hours. So if you're a six hour para educator, for example, and you have six paid hours, make sure you put six as the daily contracted hours. 
The next question is where it gets really individual because I know all of us had different arrangements, different uh, communication with our supervisor, time, all those things. But we need you to identify that from the six days listed above, how much time are you um, in a place where you are needing to offset? So for example, if you had all six of these days that were missing, uh, that you uh, that you have you know six times how many hours are here? So it, it is a very individual conversation. And honestly, the best resource for that would be conversation between you and your supervisor. The following is just a, a short list of, of some ways that you may be able to offset that time. So for example, if this number ends up being uh, 18 hours or 24 hours or whatever that number is, is that you have an opportunity to just check some boxes of what it is you intend to do to offset that time. And you'll notice um, we actually have one missing off of here that I'll add here in just a second. but. I mean, obviously, if you're extending your school year, that's one way that you can make up. We've added three school days uh, to the end of that, that school year. But if there's other things like attendance and after our meetings, um, we, you know, we're changing our schedule on Monday, starting Monday, May 6th. So those of you that have revised schedules on Tuesday through Friday, we're going to ask you to work a regular. I'm sorry, I'm back up here. You have a revised schedule on Monday. We're going to ask you to work your Tuesday through Friday schedule on Mondays because we'll be running a regular school day, not uh, collaboration Mondays. Working some extended hours. Uh, maybe you're gonna add some days to the end of your school calendar year. Maybe there's some extra duties, responsibilities, or time. Uh, maybe you worked all of the days and this isn't really um, a, as big of a deal or you need to document that. Maybe there's some school activities and supervisions and open houses and kinder roundups and registrations and dances and things for you to supervise. And some of you may choose to use one of your leaves as a way of um, offsetting that time. Please understand that uh, filling the leave portion of this out does not actually report the leave through Frontline as you will need to report that uh, through the traditional means of getting there, not just putting it on here, but this is um, identifying that you intend to do that or if there's other reasons uh, that you may have. Then we ask you just to take a few minutes and write a, a few sentences, a paragraph, kind of explaining the plan for all this. And we know that it's very complex and that in 2017, we asked you to fill out a, a long spreadsheet identifying minute by minute. And this is not intended to be that. This instead is it's just a verification of looking at um, how you intend as a professional to offset that time. And the final thing you have to do is just type your name as verification of it and to keep your compensation intact and then uh, date it at the bottom. And that's really all there is to it. We ask that each employee again fill one of these verification forms out to record it and document it. Thank you for listening and watching this quick little video about uh, what's happening. And please let us know if you have any questions. Have a good day.